Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is another Moto tutorial and this tutorial I found on the internet for free but a lot of people that watch my videos don't scour the internet for Moto tutorials like I do and other tutorials and learning materials and, and forums and stuff like that so I figured this is a good tutorial it demonstrated a real good introduction to the basic way to use materials and a few of the tools so I'm going to go through it with you so my viewers don't have to scour the web and search for these hard to find tutorials and learning lessons because I'll find them for you um, so let's get started as you can see here I just have a cylinder I just control click the cylinder into the scene and I make sure trackball rotation is off okay so now we have this cylinder we're gonna make a candy cane so the first thing I'm gonna do this is what your scene will look like it'll be untitled you'll have a mesh and your mesh is your cylinder as you can see okay um, here's your item mode which means you pick whole items you can see the little cross over here is item mode if I want to pick just a certain polygon I'll select polygon you zoom in here and you can see I can just select certain polygons or I can select edges to select the edges or vertices to select the vertices and I have a layout that I'm going to use I just wanted to get you all familiar hitting the space bar which is between modes okay I just want to get you all familiar with the basic layout I have a different layout that I use and I wanted to start with this layout so you all wouldn't be um, confused but as actually I'm not going to use my layout because I don't want to confuse you more than I have to okay so here we go we have our cylinder let's get started uh, let's go to polygon mode and you double click to select the whole item I'm going to hit the R key which is the scale and I'm going to scale it up like this about the length we want our candy cane okay now we have this long tube here click and that recenters your um, pivot point there as you can see so hit the space bar to drop the tool we were using the scale tool I hit the space bar to drop the tool and click to deselect everything now we have this cylinder so let's go in here and let's let's go to polygon mode and let's select the top here and we'll select the bottom too by holding the shift key and then I'm gonna hit the B key to call up my bevel tool as you can see the bevel tool I'm going to click once in the in the viewport to activate the tool. Now you see I'm going to click once. That activates my tool. Now you can see I have this little red and blue handle. So I'm going to bevel this in by using this red handle to scale it in. And when I do that, the top will bevel in like so. Let me show you. Now we have this bevel. So now all I got to do, we still got the bevel key, the bevel tool called up. I'm going to hit the W to call up the move tool. And I'm going to move this up like that and now we have that I don't know what we got at the bottom here I think we got it backwards at the bottom but we can fix that no problem yeah so let's select this polygon W key and let's move that back down okay now we got our ends of our candy cane gotta be a little rounded Right, so now we need to define some materials, our red and white material. Now this is the easy part of Modo. And we'll get into more advanced materials later. But with this one we're going to select polygon mode. And we're going to use some of the cool little loop tools to select this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select 2 in the direction I want my loop to go. Then I'm going to hit the L key. And look at that. Slam. It selects my whole loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip one. Highlight another one by holding the shift key and hitting the L. And I'm going to go right beside it and highlight the other row. Now I've done one, skipped one, done two. Now I'm going to skip two and do one. Hit the L key, as you can see. It's going around. Let's skip one and do two. Let's see what we got here. Let's go on around to this end. We'll skip two and do one. Then we'll skip one and do two. Uh, 
like so. Okay, now we're going to skip two. We're going to skip two, one, two, and we're going to click this one and this one. Oh, and we're going to hit the L key. And looks like we are almost done. Let's skip one and do two. Okay, now it looks like we have our group selected. Let's hold the control key and deselect our end caps. Okay, now we have now we have our selections made. Let's hit the M key to call up a quick material, to set our material. We're gonna call this red stripes. Let's set our color here to bright red, candy cane red. Say okay, say okay. Now, that, as you can see, tinted our stripes red. Now, we want the exact opposite. So let's go to select and invert. This will invert our selections and select the opposite of what we had selected before. Let's hit the M key again. We'll call this one off white stripes. And we'll make the stripes white. Maybe maybe a little off. Not much. Say okay. And now we have our stripes made up here. We have our basic candy cane. So now we're going to go to our top view. So hit the control key and space. It'll bring up your menu here. Let's go to our top view. Let's zoom in. So we're going to want to use our twist tool because... Let's see. Let's go to our... Because we want to twist our candy cane. Okay. So let me grab this handle and twist around like this. Now see this back here is our tool. You can see it's got a fall off to it. So that kind of twisted our candy cane around there. Like so. Okay. Space bar to drop the tool. Click to deselect and now we have our twisty candy cane. Okay, so now we're going to want to bend this thing. So let's go to our right view here. And let's call up our bend tool, which is right below the, the twist. And we're going to click once in the viewport to activate the bend tool. Now, as you can see, that gives us this tool. And when I bend it, it gives us this fall off. So I'm going to bend this a whole lot, and I'm going to bring this up like this. This takes some tweaking. Let's go ahead and bend our candy cane a little bit down a little bit there. Okay, let's go back to our perspective. You can see how much we're off. And we're not off at all. So I'm going to hit the space bar to drop the tool. Deselect everything. Now I'm going to hit the tab key to sub D it. And look at there. We have us a candy cane. Actually, I need to go in and twist it some more. But other than that, you can see we have us a candy cane for the holiday seasons. So I hope you've learned something from this quick moto tutorial. I have many, many, many more coming because this is a new toy for me. I just invested in it. And you better believe that I'm going to learn it. And you better believe I'm going to teach it. Uh, there's nothing more than I like better than to teach these applications to show new people what they're capable of. And uh, people just get so much enjoyment out of them using these for the first time. And they'll go through the tutorial and they'll actually be able to make something with it. And, and they'll fall in love with the software, and it's a great hobby, and I really just love doing this kind of stuff. I like to go out and do my own projects or, or see other tutorials on the web and put my own spin on them or do them for my viewers so they don't have to go scouring around. I just really enjoy this, and Modo by far is the best 3D application that I've ever tried. 
Granted, it's not a full package, but it's getting there. Moto 401 is going to have fur and, you know, all, all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, I am loyal to Moto. The Moto user base is, is loyal like the Apple user base is. I don't know what it is about this application and its user base, but it, you won't find me using anything else anymore. If I have to do fluids and dynamics, because Moto don't have fluids or dynamics or fire. Well, you can make fire in Moto, but not, not it don't have, you know, fluid particle like Houdini. You know, Houdini has it all, and it's procedural. And if I need effects, I'll export to Houdini. But as far as modeling and rendering and everything like that goes, Moto just can't be beat. I'm in love with it. So I hope this tutorial taught you guys something. Oh, yeah, real quick tip. You hit the question mark, and you'll see your, uh, you'll see your model on a turntable.